In this video, we're going to once again find area between two curves. This time, we're going to find the area between the curves y equals x squared minus 2x plus 3 and y equals 9 minus x. Well, if we were to sketch the graph of that, uh, we would get a parabola, something like this. We would get a line, something like that. And what we would need to do is find the x values of the intersect points. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to set the two functions equal to each other. 9 minus x is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 3. Since it's a quadratic, let's set that equal to 0. So I've got x squared. If I add the x over, I get negative x. If I subtract the 9 over, I get a negative 6. Well, this bad boy factors as x plus 2 and x minus 3. So we get values of negative 2 and positive 3. So now we have our bounds of integration from negative 2 to 3. We're going to take our top function, subtract our bottom function, dx. Remember, you're always going to write out the full integral that you're going to be working out uh, so that you can get points for that on the AP test. Well, so if we come over and we look from the x-axis, the top curve is clearly going to be the line. The bottom curve is going to be the parabola. So we're going to plug in our line, 9 minus x, and our parabola, x squared minus 2x plus 3. Well, let's go ahead and integrate that now. So 9 becomes 9x. Negative x becomes negative x squared over 2. If we distribute our negative, we get a negative x cubed over 3 plus an x squared minus a 3x bounded from negative 2 to 3. Well, before I plug in, I'm going to start combining some terms to make my life a little easier. 9x minus 3x is 6x, so we get rid of those. We've got a negative half x squared and a positive uh, x squared, which is a 1x squared, so that's going to give us a positive 1 half x squared. So that takes care of those two. And we've got a negative x cubed over 3 from negative 2 to 3. Well, so if we plug in uh, the 3, we're going to get 18 plus 9 halves minus 27 thirds minus, and when we plug in the negative 2, we're going to get a negative 12 plus a 2 plus and 8 thirds. I'm going to go ahead and distribute my negative here. So positive, positive, negative, negative. And let's go ahead and combine some terms. So I've got the 18, the 12, and the negative 2. So that's going to give me 19. And then I've got my 9 halves. And I've got my negative 8 thirds. Gotta love when the bell rings while I'm recording. Well, so now let's make a common denominator. 19 is going to be 114 over 6. Uh, 9 halves is going to be 27 over 6. Negative 8 thirds is negative 16 over 6. Gives us 125 over 6. Now keep in mind, uh, we practice this uh, for the multiple choice part of the exam, but on the free response, realize you don't have to reduce, so you could have left your answer up here, and that would have been probably safer.